Where did my bot go now? I think it's under M. Let's see, let's see. Hello, and welcome back to Dev Explaining channel. Today it's going to be another episode in my Discord bot Python programming series. But instead of coding, we'll do hosting today. So uh, I've been wanting to do an episode uh, how to run these bots somewhere so that you don't need to manually start them. There's a lot of possibilities like, like Heroku or AWS Cloud, Azure or Google Cloud. Uh, but I wanted to do one episode in, in how I really host some of my bots. So, so this one is about Windows services with non-sucking service manager. Uh, there's one great benefit about this. Well, in, in addition that it's uh, easy and free. Uh, the benefit is that the bots are being run when your computer is up. So it makes a lot of sense for any kind of bots. Uh, that you would be interacting with while your machine is on. So if they are gaming related, hobby related, work related bots, uh, this is a useful way to set them up. I will probably do another session on, on Linux services uh, because many people use those as well. But today it's going to be about Windows because that's what my work from home beast is uh, currently. So I think let's get started. I will dive directly into, into uh, documentation. The link, as always, is down in the description section. So there's uh, multiple ways to actually set up uh, any kind of service. There's plenty of different tools for, let's say, Windows. But this is what I recently discovered, and it's been meeting my needs. So this is what I'll use. Uh, there are other very good options as well. But I, I like anything that has good documentation and uh, is not uh, very complicated to get started. So this meets the needs. Um, you need to download suitable uh, version of the non-sucking service, service manager for your platform. Um, and then after that, you need to extract it. I, I will show you that folder set up shortly. After that, anything I'm going to explain is pretty much here under usage. So if you go to usage page, you get the same instructions, but I assembled kind of a more straightforward example of how this is done. Okay. So the next uh, step is to co go to a folder. So I, I, I would recommend that first thing you do is uh, set up a folder structure somewhat like this. So what I have done is, first of all, I have copied my module uh, from my earlier Python exercises. Uh, there's a Mr. Pomobot. Doesn't really matter what you have here. This is general approach. Doesn't need to be this Pomodoro bot. But my bot is coded. Uh, it con it's it's uh, defined as a module, a nice module. So I'm able to run it from command line by just saying Python module run this one. Okay. Second thing, I downloaded the, the NSSM and uh, then I, I have extracted and under 64-bit folder. Well, I can show you. When you extract it, uh, you get a folder structure, there's source code, there's 32-bit version, and modern machines typically benefit from 64-bit version. So I have copied that one here, because uh, with NSSM, um, when you register the service, uh, this X becomes kind of a part of the service, so you shouldn't be moving it. That's why I have it in the same folder. Now that I have basic setup done, I can actually delete this and uh, this part, I don't need the zip or the folder anymore. Uh, I, I have an extra DB file that's created by the current version of Pomobot, but essentials are here. So we have the code and then we have the non-sucking service manager here, okay? Uh, step number two, uh, we need to set up some things. So uh, let me code uh, kind of uh, secretly just a little bit because I want to do one, one little thing. Just a second. What I'm doing is I'm setting the environment variable called bot token. Uh, again, if you're not doing this Pomodoro bot or something, Discord bot like you don't need it, but in my case, uh, I kind of set it as environment variable. I didn't want to uh, show that. And now I, I noticed that my I came ill prepared, so my font is uh, font size is way too small. So let's try to bring that up a little bit. Let's make this easier to follow. Should work now. 
So if I go to my uh, D folder and Mr. Pomodoro folder, I can see this here. So step number one, assemble your things in the same folder. So either have a module or, or a single Python file, whatever you need, but have them available and then have the non-sucking service manager exe, uh, either 64 or 32 bit here with them. And then second thing, uh, I would recommend that you test that your application is still working. So you have everything you need. In my case, that would be Python, NSSM X, and then, uh, uh, sorry, not NSSM X, but uh, module Pomobot. This is how I run my module, okay? So I want to make sure that I ha I've got everything here, application is working and this is what I should be seeing. So in my case, this checks out. Uh, I know it works. Uh, second thing, probably good idea to be aware which Python you are running. So in my case, I'm going to be using from C drive. I have few Pythons there, but I'm going to be using uh, from uh, C Python 31. Uh, and th from there I can find Python X. So, so this is actually what I'm using for running things. So just make a note where your Python is installed. If you have multiple ones, just choose one. Um, we need to know it when we register this as a service. Okay. So now pretty much everything I need is assembled. So now it's actually time to have fun. So last part, register this as a service. Um, first things first, uh, I need to swap to my second monitor because a uh, very important point uh, on most Windows systems, you are probably not running as a kind of extended uh, permissions user all the time, like I'm not, it's a, it's a bad habit. So in this case, to register a service, I actually need to elevate my permissions. And the easiest way to do that is simply to run the command prompt as an admin. You will get a notification if you try to do this without you, you will get a notification that you need elevated permissions. So. I'm going to go to my folder once more. Yep, it's here. So now we are ready to start installing this and uh, I will actually include these spells in my in my Pomodoro bot uh, GitHub. So I will create a specific folder called tools and I will put uh, like a bash script with these comments there. But of course you can just, this is in huge font, so feel free to just uh, kind of pause the video and copy paste from here if you want to try something similar. But I have opened the comment prompt with admin access. Uh, so second, uh, ne next thing to do is I'm going to uh, run this non-sucking service manager install Mr. Pomodoro. Well, I want to actually show you two things. So there is option one, which is graphical install, something like this. So if I just say NSSM install Pomodoro, I get this uh, user interface and I can select path to Python, uh, choose the startup directory and put the module uh, uh, kind of parameters here. And that's almost all. Then I just install service. So it can be that easy. But if you know me by now, you know that <laughs> I like to automate things. So I, I like things I can repeat exactly and express as code. So in my case, that would be something like this. So uh, recent versions of non-sucking service manager also let you install things uh, just with command line expressions. Uh, this is not covering yet everything, but it's a good start. So I'm saying that Mr. Pomodoro uh, service is going to run Python from that 39 folder. And then uh, the parameter is going to be minus M Pomobot. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, the documentation for NSSM covers all this. So now I ran this, I have a new service installed. However, it's not yet going to start. We are missing a few things. So uh, easiest way to set the application directory, is something like this. NSSM, you can set any features from command line like this once you have the bot or, or the service installed. So you just say NSSM set for Mr. Pomodoro, let's set the application directory to be the Mr. Pomodoro. So this is very important because this defines where the Python kind of starts. So any path you are going to give any references uh, will then work from that folder. So this kind of needs to happen. 
for my for, for my startup comment to work. So let's do that. Okay, all good. And then uh, we have one final thing to do. I will show you how that happens. So uh, I need to pass in the environment variable. There's another way to do this. I could set it globally in Windows, but I like to set it application specific instead. So in my case, that would be bot token. And then you put your secret, very secret bot token here. Okay. I have it already uh, kind of uh, ready. So what I'm going to do is uh, you get to look another screen for a bit and I run, run that real command with my real bot token because it's a, it's a horrible secret. If you knew my token, you would be able to access my bot and I really don't like that idea. I know internet folks can be wicked and no, who knows what might happen. Okay, so we are uh, supposedly run. Uh, we are supposedly done with this and now we get to test it. Um, I have opened already Windows Services, Windows Service Manager. Uh, at M, there's a lot of services, but somewhere here. Oh, okay. We don't see Mr. Pomobot yet because I had this open all the time. We need to refresh this. And then we get to see Mr. Pomodoro service here. If I open it up, uh, startup type is automatic, so it will boot up when I, my machine boots up. That's a nice uh, feature. Um, I, of course, want to test that it starts. So I press the start button. It's running because I'd never make any mistakes, as you know. So it's flawlessly done and it's running now. And when, when, once I boot up, it will boot up again. I have the database there now based on the uh, previous episode. So that kind of lets me persist information between the runs if I, if I choose to do so. In, in case of some services, you might want to add like uh, which logon account you are using. Uh, for me, this local system account works nicely. And then there's extra features. Most of these you can also set in non-sucking service manager as well. But I think that's pretty much it. I didn't want to linger too long with this. Uh, I think I managed to keep this uh, short, sweet and snappy. So now my Mr. Pomobot is running. Let's do one final thing. So uh, if I go back to my uh, other monitor, you can see my Discord. I'm just verifying. We, we see Mr. Pomodoro here. It's uh, not a lonely room any anymore because there's me and Mr. Pomo. And then when I say start, uh, Mr. Pomo is going to reply to me. So uh, unlike before, when we were running this manually from the ID, now it's kind of deployed and running. So uh, it's always on when I boot up my machine. When I want to... Uh, uh, update this. Uh, updating is not fancy, but it's not difficult. I need to stop the uh, running service and then I just overwrite the Python files and start it again. And that's it, uh, providing they still work. So I'm actually running a few bots like this. Uh, as, I, as I said, I, I like automation, so I like to have my bots do the work for me as, as much as possible. I like to have situational awareness. Uh, so the bots will help 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 me with that. Uh, that was today's episode. Uh, remember to click those buttons, leave feedback, spread the word, uh, share the links, uh, you know, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.